all the way from Alabama. These 85 dogs travel more than 1,200 miles. The first dog I saw off the truck was a chihuahua, and the second one I saw was a hound mix. So <laughs> there's something for everyone. You know, lab mixes, terrier mixes. Each one is weighed, is it? vaccinated, this is going to your nose. Boop, boop. and checked for fleas. Who got the fleas? All of it is recorded here so the vets know where to start. These animals, were not they did not have homes yet. Most had been in the shelters for weeks before Hurricane Michael hit. 52 pounds. So they decided to send them up here here to make room for the new batch of strays who got lost during the storm. We don't want to bring anybody's pet up to Minnesota. We want them to all end up back where they belong. But here at the shelter, they've got their own problems. We can't always pick the timing of these things. Site manager Ann Lally Rose says they're already at capacity with more than 120 dogs on the adoption floor <laughs> and 300 others waiting in the ranks. Why is the shelter so full right now? Change happens. People go back to school, back to work, um, transition times, and so it might not be just quite top of mind right now. Good news is MEA break is usually when things pick up again. So this weekend will be especially important, finding homes for their dogs so the new ones can settle in. Who don't see borders, you know, like they don't know they're from Alabama. They just know they want to be on your couch. Now that all these dogs have been checked in, workers are going to get them ready for adoption. I'm told many of them will be on the adoption floor up here starting this Friday with others coming onto the adoption floor later this weekend. In Golden Valley, Gordon Severson, CARE 11 News. <laughs> if you can't get enough of those pups or you want to see which ones will be up for adoption, we do have a slideshow for you at care11.com.